Hey everyone, John Runner 88 here with another Star Wars figure review. This time it's Bo Katan Kreese from the Vintage Collection. Um, and it is an absolutely phenomenal figure. And it, it's probably my top figure of 2021. Um, I got her a few weeks ago. Um, a case actually showed up at a local Target and I was able to get to him first thing in the morning and get my hands on Bo Katan here and. I got the Bib, Fortin, Bib Fortuna, um, Quill, um, the Mithril, and uh, Lobot. Um, I skipped out on the Rebel Soldier. I wasn't interested. You know. And, I mean, I was buying enough figures, so I didn't want to break the bank in one, one visit. Um, but, yes, she is fantastic. Um, like, just, I couldn't ask for a better-looking figure. Like, just all the paint apps... For, for this scale are just like mind blowing and you'd be able to see if it would focus it, there we go like all the helmet scuffs are like one to one to like the screen used prop from the show um the mandalorian and yeah it's just incredible all the way to like her jetpack hasbro especially on the black series they like skipping out on like weathering on the back side of figures but not this one for Vintage Collection. Vintage Collection isn't as bad. Um, sometimes here and there they'll skip out, but Black Series is like notorious for that stuff. I've got the uh, little Night Owl symbol on the shoulder. It's a little eh looking. Could be a little cleaner, but she's also got scuffed up armor, so it's um, easy to believe that they'd be scuffed up. Um, her belt is a nice kind of like auburn color rather than like they, they have a really like orange one for the black series and it didn't look good it like matched her hair this one's a bit a lot darker than the hair color they used for her um on this figure um she's got the little shoulder pieces attached to like the, her like a uh, the neck piece up here um one thing i was worried about with the promotional images is like this was like up here on both sides and I was just worried that it was gonna be like not as flexible but just like the Boba Fett over there on the back um, which I'll get to with all these figures back here um, <clears throat> it lays nice and nice and flat on the shoulder when it's down and it goes up when it needs to and it's not like fully connected up here to allow for like um, it's more easy of movement so it's not like a big piece like flexing all the time it's a lot smaller um, jetpack comes off, leaves a huge hole in her back, which is a little weird. I don't know why they had to do it that big, but, um, <clears throat> sits perfectly on her back, nice and snug. Um, the rangefinder was another issue. Um, it's not articulated, which is strange because it looks like it is, like, it's just, it's like a little peg, it's like, it's literally pegged in there, it's a separate piece, so I don't know why it's not articulated, um. Yeah, strange. Um, guns are great. Very small, um, very thin, and they're very flexible. So you got to be careful because, especially, oh, dropped it. Here we go. The um, the guns, the blasters. Um, if you're gonna focus, so it doesn't have like a little trigger guard, so it's very um thin in that midsection. So you got to be careful not to like pull on it too much when taking it out of the holster. And that's a slight issue with one of my holsters because it's very tight on one side. The other side, it's not as tight. It goes in very, very easy. Comes out very easy. But I gotta be careful pulling out the other side because um, it's very tight. Don't wanna like rip the blaster in half. So at some point, um, I'll probably go into the other side and maybe shave out like a little bit of the holster so it fits in there nicely. Because it's not going to, like, fall through because of the, uh, handle or anything. Um. <clears throat> but, but, yeah. It's got all the articulation you need. It's got a nice, uh, waist movement. It goes back pretty good. Head can look up pretty good. So when she's, like, flying. Um. But one thing that I was very amazed, uh, very surprised by and that I was very excited for is they actually have, um, a new like barbell system 
in there for the hips, you know, like kind of like the old style that they would do um, for figures. Um, a lot of action figure lines have done this, but um, Star Wars has was leaning into like a peg system that would like a big chunky peg would go up into like the hip um, <clears throat> or the waist, and it was a pain to like you'd have to like move you have to like move them up here first the like upper thigh before you could like orient the leg enough to like get it to kick up but this it's just goes everywhere you don't have to do that at all and it still has the thigh swivel so you get all that articulation so i was just like i was blown away that they actually did that um and they it seems like going forward they're going to stick with that because Queel actually has that same setup. Um, Bib and Lobot do not because they're actually using old legs. Um, and the Mithril was probably um, in production a while ago because he's coming like with the Razor Crest carbonized. So they want to get him out for the Razor Crest, I'm sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, she's got the rocker ankles and they actually have like a ton of movement, especially backwards and like forwards. Um, they're definitely getting much better in the vintage collection with the rocker ankles as far as like their um, the plastics and whatnot they're making them out of. Um, some of them, like some of the first ones, like um, uh, uh, I know um, Hondo was um, one of the first ones that utilized that um, rocker ankle rocker anchor rocker ankle tech that they've been um utilizing and he his rubber for his like feet or whatever bottoms of his boots were it's very flimsy it was like if you pulled too much on his heel it was gonna like it would like rip off or something or at least bend significantly um and uh, didn't show this off at all um this is the card back awesome green really makes her pop on the card and um, that picture that they use, it's like, of course they're going to use that picture. It was just like, when she walked into the hallway in that episode, just stuck there for a second. It's like, yeah, that's that's the shot for all the promotional material. Um, <clears throat> but yes, um, in addition to the helmet here, um, it does remove, get it off screen because I need to get a little leverage in there. Um They are on a little, it's on a little barbell in there, if you'll focus just on maybe, so a little barbell in there. Um, <clears throat> and then we have her head, which is somewhere, here it is. And pop that on, and we just have Katie Sackoff here now. She's actually um, got in contact with her um, over the weekend, and she said she'd be fine with showing up and uh taking part in my video for a little bit um she's just as impressed with um all right she's being shy right now katie come on <clears throat> you gonna focus yes no maybe so all right well not the best focus right now let's get orientate ourselves a little differently i'm on the floor right now because I feel like it, um, but yeah, right here, the likeness is just, like, phenomenal. It's, like, for a three and three quarter inch figure, this likeness is just, like, it's just amazing. Um, you can see that the hair is a much, um, brighter orange than the belt, um, um, one issue I did notice with um this one not not nearly as bad but like this uh hairband headband thing here um it's missing a little silver along the sides um so there's like some flesh tones coming through um but it, the other one that I saw that was there um it was much worse it was like it was like an extra forehead almost um but they're both on like barbells and when they do this type of um, setup with the the separate heads, 
you are able to see all the paint apps like right away in the package. Um, you don't have to come on, stop. <clears throat> Um, but you don't, you can like check it all out in the package. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, a crummy looking head hiding under a mask. I know they've been doing like, um, lately they have, or in black series, they have Costco Reeves and, um, Miggs Mayfeld in his like tank driver disguise and they they both have the helmets on. It's like, okay. But what if there's like a wonky eye underneath? Uh, you want to see the actor. I know with Migs, they want you to think that it, you can use it as like a trooper too, which yeah, you can, but you also want a nice head sculpt and a nice paint app. And it's when they hide the head under, it's, you can't see that kind of stuff. And it's frustrating. So I'm glad they're doing this kind of stuff. Um, separate helm, um, head slash helmet to like pop on and off. Um, I mean, down the line, who knows if a barbell might snap pulling them out um but honestly um you're not going to be swapping them like too frequently um but it's just something you know you always got to be careful with toys figures whatever anything can break um but um yeah like like look at that come on that that looks absolutely fantastic i'm um, sorry for the lighting in here um i'm in my son's room today so it's not the best lighting um but we will compare her next to ahsoka and Din and Boba. And right away you can just see she's fine. She's not like super short. She's like just, she's about as tall as Ahsoka up to like their foreheads. And Ahsoka has like the head, like her horns, her, <clears throat> they call them like Montals, I think, or whatever. Um, that, and that makes her a little higher, like head wise, but. To her forehead, it's like, it's pretty much the same. Um, people keep comparing her to this Boba Fett. But the Boba Fett, if you ask me, is just like, he's a little too big to begin with in general. But even right there, he looks fine. Like, all it takes is one, one crappy, one crappy pick somebody takes and posts. And they're just like, hey. This figure's super short. It's like, no, she lo she's just fine. She fits in perfectly fine with all these figures. And it doesn't matter because she's going to be able to... She'd probably whoop all them anyway, aside from Ahsoka. She'd give her a run for her money, but, you know, Ahsoka's got the Force and stuff, so it's kind of unfair. Um, <clears throat> but this is my review for Bo-Katan um, Kree's in the Vintage Collection. Um, if you have not gotten your hands on her, please try and do so, because she is absolutely phenomenal. Um, if you are an opener, she is just an amazing, like, the, the quality of the newest figures in, like, the newest wave, um, as far as, like, the plastics they've been using, and, like, um, the joints and everything, like, all of them, I have not, like, even Lobot with, like, he has those, like, um, the pegs up in the thighs, like, um, like, these two guys back here, even Ahsoka, um, and his, his work moved so smooth, like, it's absolutely insane, um, so, but he also doesn't have any obstructions, there's a lot of characters like Ahsoka, like Din, um, Boba Fett, yeah, he's got some pockets and stuff, um, they have a few obstructions in, like, that area, too, um, kind of make it difficult to, like, get your fingers up in there to, like, to, like, rotate, like, the upper hip, but that's not an issue with, um, with, a uh, Bo-Katan, because she's got that barbell system, same with the quill, who I'll get around to doing a video for, but, um, as for right now, Bo-Katan Kreese, if you do not have her, please go find her, get her, buy her online if you have to, don't pay scalper prices, but there's plenty of sites that'll have her, like, pop up over, like, over time and stuff, and, um, there's, um, a lot of smaller shops that have, um, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, profiles you can follow and they'll post, uh, um, 
when they get them in, because they usually get them in a little later. Um, also has real pulse. We'll probably get them in a little later too. Um, they always get things in later. Um, so, you know, keep your eyes open and you'll get her eventually if you stay on top of it. Remain diligent. Um, yeah. Feel free to subscribe. I'll, I'm going to be doing Bib Fortuna next, so you can wait for him, wait around for him as well. Um, you know, like, comment. I always try to comment back. I don't have too many people commenting, so it's nice and easy for now. Um, who knows? If I blow up, I will not comment back after a while. But, um, but now I'll um, I'll always try and get my uh, uh, my words back out to you. Um, I always like giving people my. Uh, uh, <clears throat> my opinions on things and how I feel about products coming out. Um, right, I mean, this whole wave right now is a home run. Like I said, I just passed on the soldier, halt soldier. Didn't really see a need for him. Um, um, I'll pick them up if I find them like cheap somewhere or whatever, maybe, but um, not in much of a hurry. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. You can follow my Instagram, same uh, handle, John Runner eighty eight. Um, I do a lot of images over there, um, as far as, like, a, um, just some cool toy photography and stuff. Nothing super crazy, but I like doing up little dioramas and stuff here and there, and just shooting some pictures. And, um, yeah, I got some pictures of Bo-Katan over there, because I was just drooling over her when I got her. She's just, it's just phenomenal. I just, just in the hand, just, like, moving her, posing her. It just looks so good. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Bye, guys.